Good evening. Welcome to the bid review subcommittee. The first item on the agenda is the roll call to create a quorum. Judy, all I have to say is yes. Judy Sullivan? Here. Kathy Ellis? Here. Tony Rodriguez? Here. And Tim Sullivan is here. I see Carl and uh, Dr. Cobbs are here. Do you want to submit this proposal? And if everybody doesn't know, we have Carl Walker, who's in charge now, and Dr. Cobbs at the end. <laughs> Carl Walker is the project manager for the operations team. This is his first one. Let him be easy on him. Yep, official one. Thank you. So you want me to start? So this this project is the uh, is the bid review for for the the. the uh, committee for the time clock system as you know you know some of the you, you've been around for a while in time the, the infrastructure in some of the school buildings um, needs to be upgraded seriously and over the last few years with the budget cut we weren't able to do so so we've been getting a lot of complaints superintendent's been getting a lot of complaints because every school every clock system is 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 kind of independent and uh, the, the biggest problem was with the bell schedules it keeps changing you know they slipping we are, we've been looking, we've been repairing, you know, these systems for a long time and to the point now where you can't even get the you know, materials anymore, like for South Middle School, one, one example. So, so we finally went out to look for a system that we can synchronize across the whole system and that's, that's the, the main feature of this, this system. As you can see, there's two samples here, the digital and the analog. Um, so this, this has the ability, I'll let Carl give you more details, but the main feature that I wanted to, for the, it's, it's again, it's system wide. It synchronizes. It's the same thing in every building and every every you know doesn't matter. It, it, they're all the same, so they don't they don't get out of sync. They, it, it's from a central system. So I'll get, let Carl get into more more details and answer your questions when he finishes. Thank you. I noticed when I went to some of the schools as my tours through um, some of the buildings. The clocks that were broken, the old analog clocks, were being replaced with battery-operated clocks that really weren't secure to the to the to the um, building accordingly. So they were falling off the walls and landing on the floors. Um, so most Batteries. of the classrooms didn't really have new or well, didn't have clocks in place as as needed. Uh, these clocks here are pretty unique in nature they're just they're, they can their faces can change to five or six different types of faces they also can display messages uh, from main office from anywhere actually um, additionally they're in a prototype situation right now where we can actually install PA systems to these clocks so eventually hopefully we can use this as a uh, pr uh, public announcement as well sure is the PA system part of this initial quote, or would that it be an not. additional charge? It'll be an additional charge because it's still in a proto uh, prototype stage at the moment. Okay, and my next question is, um, what type of system, I guess, and this is my own ignorance, so forgive me, but what, what type of system should we have in the schools? I know this is what we want, but what are we required to have? Or compliance-wise. Are you refer referring to like building codes or, or school? Anything. It, like it, our There, there really isn't like status, a, a code or a law that says we, you have to have X or Y or Z. You know, we obviously you need a way to tell time that's, that's you know, conducive for the whole school-wide. Again, with the, the bell system. And so it, it's... It's it's a functional you know feature for the school building. There's no ADA or law requirement saying you have to have this or you have to have that. This is um, we we need something to again to to have a a master clock system. 
that's consistent across the building in, in the bell schedule system. So if in a perfect scenario, mm -hmm. you know, this would be great. But I guess my question is, if we didn't have this, what are the alternatives? We'll, we'll continue what we've been doing with the, with the battery-operated gotcha. analog clocks that we have to change the batteries every year. And, and the, every time the, we, the daylight savings changes over, we have to, cause have to go around the building and manually change them. So, and, and the bell systems, we will have to, in some buildings like in, in South, we'll have to buy a different bell system because that one is just obsolete. So we're going to have to install something in some of the schools to replace that, you know, again, for the, for the functionality of time changes for the class changes. So um, can I, I'm just going to weigh in quick, if you don't mind, is it okay? Um, so this is kind of setting the um, structure in place for, to avert a larger issue going forward so we have um, the bell systems we have the intercom systems that are starting to become some are already antiquated like here at the high school uh, we have an issue with trying to get a system up here that works um, we have the angelo the unknown um, those are now obsolete mm -hmm. and constantly you know playing catch up trying to fix those so um, there's not a clock in the district that I don't think actually works from, well, actually none of them tell the same time. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine that it's, but it kind of sets us up for, you know, getting rid of that antiquated, um, the ones that are really going, you know, pretty much we can't fix anymore. They don't have parts for anymore. Um, and then getting this system in place that would then become the, you know, announcements, the bell system emergency alert system so it's kind of the first step in putting the system in place district wide because it's becoming a it's becoming an issue and this is the best way we feel that to address it once and for all because if you look at east west north and south they still have the old mm -hmm. if you look at the big Analog it clocks. still has a paneling box yeah, where the, the system. intercom system is in and it's there the original to the 50s so this is kind of the putting the pretty much the brains in in the the first step of making a district-wide mm -hmm. you know bell system announcement system just, just sorry other, i didn't mean to interrupt i just want to no problem and just 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 to put it in, in, in again in perspective you know to repair and replace each of the schools that superintendent thomas just mentioned it's it's 15 to twenty thousand, and probably more because the prices of everything are going up and the availability per school to to go back and replace the system the pa systems and the analogs so we're gonna have to do it one way or another it's one at a time or or, or a system-wide infrastructure kind of rebuild so if I have this, but I just want to make sure I understand. So the, it doesn't have the intercom system attached to it currently, though, so we'd still have to use the intercom system that we have. And then if right. we want to get the intercom system, that's going to be an additional spend. Well, it won't be an intercom. It's a public announcement feature. It's not a, it's not a two-way intercom system. It's an add-on. So basically this system, Superintendent Thomas can send out messages to the whole district, to one school, to a group of schools. And if we, with the PA system announcement, he can, he can send it from the central office, whatever announcement he wants to send out, again, to the, the whole school district at once or a separate school, the one school. So it, it's a one-way PA announcement system. It's not a two-way intercom system. So are we going to be are we going to have to replace the two-way intercom system? Because that sounds like that's antiquated as well. Right, right. So I guess my question is how much do we think that's going to be? Well, like I said, usually that's you know the, the we've replaced a few already. It was ten to twelve to fifteen thousand, so it's probably going to be anywhere from twenty to twenty-five, I'd imagine. So. On top of this per school, right? In this um, this project, the the quote um, from Ockers is that the only place that we got a bid from, or was that just the best bid? Well, there's three quotes. One, the American Times. So, Arkers, they they were basically the, the analog systems as well, and they, and they didn't they don't have the functionality of, of any of the, the system this system does. So. Right. And it's not an intercom system either. It, it, it's really a it's just a plain similar clock that we have now in the existing buildings. Okay, and then I have one last question. I'm sure. sorry. Um, the oh God, hold on. I'm sorry, I totally forgot my question. <laughs> so Mr. Sullivan had a, had a question. Perfect. Judy. 
Hi, yes. Um, thank you. Um, this, that we could even afford this would be a really great thing for the district. Absolutely. I know for years we've been looking at these out-of-date clocks, mm -hmm. and none of the clocks are the same. And when you're in a school, the clocks are a really important thing for teachers and students, mm -hmm. everybody that works there. So I think this is a really um, great idea. Um, we'd never have the money for it before with all the cuts that we've had over the years. Mm -hmm. So if we have the money for it, I think it's a great time to do it right. before the costs go up. And this is for all the schools, right? That's correct. correct. It's for the whole district. For the whole entire district, 2,000 units. And, and we have like 25 schools in the district? And, gr and growing. <laughs> It's right, really and we're adding more I think we're, we're close schools. to 30 locations now. I mean, Mike, just about 30 locations, actually. And, we're, and, we're um, still acquiring schools, so yes. I mean, a clock in a school is a really, really important thing. The other thing. feature of this is it's a newer system. It, it can add on. It, it's expandable. It, it's up, up scalable anytime we need to, you know, and it just adds into the same system. So we would right. just actually just install the clocks in the buildings, the new buildings and classrooms and offices, and yes. it, it logs into the same system. So. Yeah, I think it's, thank you. Kathy, I just wanted to answer, there's three separate bids in this packet. Yep, I saw that. Thank okay. you so much, Tim. The, the other question I was going to ask is, to Judy's point to follow up, is they're going in every school, but there this is designated for every single classroom, correct? Right. Every classroom and every office space and then common areas like the reception areas and, and gymnasiums and uh, cafeterias. Okay. And then my other question is also a follow-up to Judy's in regards to financials. So. Was this put in the budget for this year originally, or are we adding it to the budget this year? Like, when was the when did we get the original bid? And this what? is under ESSER three. Okay. And would there be? And this is again my ignorance, but I'm looking at it like for a 1.3 million dollar contract if we have that kind of money and this is i'm being completely honest if we have that kind of money is this the best place for us to put it like i i you know you're you're dr cobbs you're talking about infrastructure mm -hmm. and i keep thinking about other infrastructure issues that we have and should we be taking this 1.3 million dollars and living with clocks for another year or another couple years and put it I don't know, in a field or some another another infrastructure issue that we're mm -hmm. challenged with. That I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, I'm sure Superintendent Thomas. I mean, we'd have to bring to you the other. You know, we obviously have other fields wouldn't be allowed under ESSER three. It That's has to something is, to do with the um, with the building. It would have to be something to do with HVAC systems. Uh, there's right. obviously mm -hmm. several other things to do. We just you know this has been an issue for a long time, and yep. we figured we'd take it advantage of the yes or mm -hmm. is there any can i ask a question is there what's the story with the electrical is that part of this for the, for the because clock. obviously the clock After is wireless the outlets, but right. they obviously need so most of the outlet. clocks most existing clocks are on a 120 volt already so it's plug and play we can wire the clocks directly to the so we'll 120 we'll existing in it's all in-house the ones that don't are probably 18 volts and there should be 120 somewhere in the vicinity of the clock to plug and play I had a, one question for Mr. Thomas. Yeah. Kind of have dinner. The, uh, I know you said the money's coming out of SF3. Yep. Is the full amount available in SF3? The, yes. Chris, point? Put, Chris put it in the, um, the SF3 budget. Yes. To be paid in full? <laughs> yes, it has to come out of SF3 because it's a one time expense that obviously uh, would fix a problem. Um, and didn't want to take it obviously under the local outside you know out of the local budget i just have one other question for carl uh, in all this paper is there a guarantee on these uh, a life there's a five-year warranty that comes along with this as well five years and, and this, this price comes with with the, obviously support from the from the company for the tech support and training as, as well so one other final question: Who who would put these in? The we would we would install them in house yeah. with our with our electrician to put the outlet. They'll install them. You really you're hanging it on the wall, literally. So we will install them. That company doesn't do it. No, no. So this is really just for hardware, no labor involved. Hmm. 
uh, Mr. Rodriguez. What other features does this have? Is it like a TV, a modem? Like, can you record and play the message, or is it just? It's yes. A, you good? It, it's it's a clock, and it also allows you to pre, um, create messages. Mm. So you can actually type on there anything you want. So if it was an emergency, the superintendent can type something like "We're in lockdown," and, and all the clocks say "Lockdown." Mm. So it's really a communication device as well. It, it can, you know, it, it'll light up red if there's a fire alarm, it'll, you know, so we can send out, and e even in the classroom, the teacher can have access to it to put a daily announcement on it. Correct. The principal can put a daily announcement in the morning or afternoon, so whatever they, you see the digital writing over there, it could, they can change it each school location to put daily announcements um, or emergency announcements, so it, it's, it's essentially a small, we're hanging a computer on the wall, basically, and so we can put, put anything we want to put on it. So if the principal wants to do like a live video? Yes. You'll be able to do the live video? That's correct. Correct. Control from anywhere if the superintendent wanted to get on in the dashboard? Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a breakdown of exactly um, like how many, with, with the, all the schools, how many clocks per school, like a breakdown? Do you have an actual breakdown? Yeah, as to the Davis needs 120, Gilmore needs 80. Is there actual breakdown? And if there is a breakdown, I would like to see that breakdown. I could probably provide what the, you with that later. Sure. Mm -hmm. And what would the cost be per school versus like an overall? Um, I'll be honest with you, this is a lot of information for me. It to is. It's a lot of money. Research on this right now. Um, you know, I, I, we have obviously an issue with the clocks. There's some mm -hmm. clocks when I was in school, but um, I think. Um, coincide with uh, Mrs. Ellis that, you know, 1.3, you could say, um, is quite a lot for, mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, installing clocks right now. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any other questions, but I would like to um, postpone this vote for me to do a little bit more research on these clocks myself mm -hmm. um, before we take a, a vote on this measure. So if you notice in your packet on the bid, though, the, there is a discount because you know this is where the one. Of the, it's going to be one of the largest installs that they're they're doing. There's a four hundred thousand dollar discount you know, to the city of Brockton right now in this in this packet. So if that, they'll hold that, I don't know how long they'll hold it for. But I understand it's a lot of money. But it, again, it's, this is not just buying clocks. It's an infrastructure upgrade that's been needed for for quite a while. Yeah. No, and I yeah, it, okay. don't get a detailed breakdown of each school mm. in the district if we can break that down yeah we do have that. um priorities i mean mm -hmm. i would like to get like a you know a, a detailed presentation on exactly how the clock is i'm just seeing it now mm -hmm. as far as it sure we can we can have the the, like the vendor come in and give you a demonstration as they did with us absolutely we can set that up tony if you wanted to table this you could just make a motion on that. Yeah, you yeah. get a second. Yeah. I'll make a motion to table this to further discussion and research on the matter. To a later, uh, to a later date. To a later date. I, I talked to Mike, and this SO3 money is available next year as well. To so, 2000, to December of 24. So, it, just before you table this, I want to make sure everybody understands this is the price we have now, and at. I'm just letting everybody know this is the price we have now currently with this discount. I, there is nobody else giving us a discount on anything and anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, any, if we try to do another renovation project, it's just going to be twice as much anything anything we do. Um, I think we should really move forward with the clocks. And if you want this information and you don't like it, maybe we'll come back and look at it. But I think this is the time to move forward with the clocks. I really do. Mm -hmm. Can I take a vote on this? We we have a motion on the floor to table this bid review meeting. Second. To let it. A motion has been made and properly second. Just by a show of hands, all in favor? Opposed? Uh, with, with three to one, the motion carries. We'll table this to another meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, and we're trying to get some more information, Phil. Sure. Yeah, we can get a breakdown by school. How many units? Yeah, no problem. What else did you need, Tony? To no, I, was, I just wanted a breakdown of okay. the, the classroom. Shout out to Carl and Dr. Cobbs. Okay. Carl, do we have to 
the other thing too is if there's a possibility we could find out how long the implementation is and just to confirm that we can use our own tech people to do it. For each by school, the group to school for Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. So it would be over the summer. Right. Okay. Any other we, business for the bid review committee? And we don't require any other tech people. We can, the implementation can be done with our existing staff. We don't have to hire anybody Correct. else. It's a plug and play okay. installation. So it's, a, it's going to an internet card. So it's a plug in. Okay, perfect. 120 volt and a plug in straight through an internet card. Mm, thank thank you. you very much. Any other business for the bid review committee? Hearing none, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. And a second? Second. Just by a show of hands, all in favor? Motion carries unanimous. Meeting adjourned.